Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about all things birth, um, lots of questions that are going to be answered based on my experience and hopefully they can help you um, prepare for your labour as well. So my labour was actually 34 and a half hours from start to finish. But actually this isn't the case because they don't class it as active labour until you're four centimetres dilated. So that was the total time from my waters breaking to giving birth was about 34 and a half hours, which sounds like a really long time. But like I said, they don't class it as labour until four centimetres. So I'm not actually too sure what that would be because I didn't hit four for a, for a while. <laughs> Do contractions hurt? Yes, they do. Now, I take my hat off to any woman that, you know, can just breathe through contractions until the very end. I found them extremely painful. It's a very dull ache. Um, I think it is different for everyone where it seems to hit the most. I felt like mine was a like was mostly in my back. I don't know if that's because I had the tens machine on, um, sending um, electrical pulses through my back. Um, that's where I just felt like it was targeted the most. Um, but yes, they do hurt. But don't forget, they do build up. Um, so mine were quite long. Some people have short contractions. Obviously, they do get longer towards the end. But mine started, you know very very long contractions it's a huge build up hits the peak which is where you really find it hard and then it starts to wear off so people can just breathe through it i couldn't i obviously just you know couldn't handle it but expect it, expect them to be painful yes so i had um a lot of pain relief now i started at home with my tens machine which I don't know if it did or didn't work, to be honest. Um, I thought it was more of a distraction as it sent the pulses. Um, it was a bit like a vibration through um, the patches on my back. Now, it almost just felt like a distraction feeling. Um, so it didn't really help the pain. I think it just tried to mask it. Um, I went on to have um, pethidine in the hospital which was administered by an injection into the leg. Now, I was really unsure whether I wanted pethidine or not because I know it can, um, it gets to the baby as well and it makes you very drowsy, um, also the baby very drowsy, but I was told that if you have it early on, um, then the baby, by the time it's born, the effects would have worn off. But if the baby was delivered close to having the pethidine, the baby might come out a bit drowsy and might need a little bit of extra support and help when um, delivered. So that put me on edge a little bit. Um, but I knew I was so early on in my labour, I had a long way to go that I just said, yes, I needed anything at that point. They wouldn't give me an epidural or anything stronger until I hit four centimetres. So it was just getting from zero to four. Um, and don't forget your cervix has to thin out first as well. So um, the pethidine made me very, very sick. I ended up having another injection for anti-sickness um, as I was vomiting a lot. And yeah, I just wouldn't recommend it. It made me very drowsy, made me very sick. And I was still in a lot of pain, but it's different for everyone. It might be suitable for you. I also went on to have the epidural as soon as I hit four centimetres it was 100% what I wanted to do. Um, I've always sort of known in the back of my mind, you know, I'll take any pain relief if I want it. Um, I would never be disappointed that um, I went for a certain option that I didn't think I was going to have in the end anyway. But yeah, I went for the epidural and it was the best thing that I ever did. I also had gas and air before and after the epidural um i didn't really get along with it i didn't feel a huge difference it kind of just i wanted to focus on breathing myself um i think it's because i was doing that for so long that when i was then given gas and air it was just a bit like oh this is just in my way and not really doing anything so it didn't really work for me 
So what was unexpected in my labour was that being examined was actually really, really painful. Um, maybe because I haven't had um, a smear test yet. I don't really know what it's like going right up to my cervix, but it was extremely painful. I also didn't know that um, I had to wait until I was four centimetres until I could have pain relief. So Jax has just woken up from his little nap. Okay, so I've changed positions while I'm just feeding Jax. Um, he is going to be a part of my video as well. Um, so, as I was saying, that I didn't know that I had to be four centimetres um, to have pain relief. Um, so it took me a long time to get to four centimetres, so I was absolutely... I was really annoyed by this and just wanted them to give me pain relief. Um, and lastly, I didn't realise that once I'd had my epidural, that obviously I needed to go to the toilet. I didn't feel like I needed to go to the toilet because I couldn't feel anything. Um, but every so often, my midwife came in and emptied my bladder with a catheter. So there you go. Didn't know that was going to happen. Um, there was an easy part, there really was, and that was only due to the fact that I had an epidural. It was very hard up until then. Once I had my epidural, I just sat and waited until it hit 10 centimetres. The hardest part was getting to the four centimetres before my epidural. It was it was very, very hard. And I thought I was doing so well breathing through it. But when I got to the hospital, I just knew I was there too early. I was one of those people and the midwife examined me and we could just both tell the sheer disappointment that was going to happen is that I was like one centimetre dilated. And she said she didn't know how quick it could be. It could be really quick that I get to four and I can have my pain relief or... Um, it could be a long wait, so yeah, it, that was the agonising part. So my plan was originally to give birth on just a midwifery led unit um, in a small hospital that was purely um, natural births. Um, I really wanted to have a water birth, but you know, I just knew whatever happens, happens because I just wanted a healthy baby and, but that was my plan. So like I said, I wasn't disappointed that I didn't get my plan because I went into it very open-minded and just took each moment as it came. And it turned out that it was a completely different birth to what I imagined. But I had thought about the birth that I did go on to have. It's important to think of different options, different routes, things that may happen because you want to be you want to be aware of what could happen. It's important to explore all different options. I was just so happy that I had a healthy baby regardless of how how I gave birth to him and my labour went. Yes, I did have stitches. Um, I had a second degree tear and a few grazes. So being stitched up took a little while after the birth. Um, again, I was lucky that I didn't feel any of this because I had had my epidural. No, you can't feel the placenta being delivered. Um, I did have the injection to speed up the delivery. Um, it just came out. I did watch it come out for some reason. Um, it was very interesting, but I was surprised I did not feel it. Um, was the epidural painful? I actually can't remember because I was in such a state by the point that I was allowed to have it. Um, I just sort of blanked out really, especially because I'd already had the pethidine and stuff like that. Um, but as far as I can remember, it wasn't painful. I think they numb the area first before injecting. Uh, do not panic, do not worry. If, if you're scared about having a large needle put in your back at that moment in time, you want nothing else 
butt that needle to go into your back so yeah don't stress you'll be absolutely fine and also you get to keep topping up yourself so um i think is it a cannula maybe stays in your back something like that um and you administer that um the epidural continually like every 20 minutes i was allowed to push a button and it topped it up so um you don't have to have any more injections anything like that i could feel everything from waist up i just couldn't feel anything from waist down of course i would do it again of course when i actually delivered him i thought how can people want to do that again it was very traumatic at the time i was very very exhausted and then i thought you know now i'm gonna be even more exhausted with no sleep with a with a newborn baby for a little while but once once you get your reward which is your beautiful healthy little baby of course you would do it all again so i'm actually not sure how i would want my next birth to go to be honest i don't know whether i would try and go for the water birth again because i have heard that you know your second um third or fourth babies are a lot easier that's because your cervix is already thinned out and won't need to do that again um so it seems to be a lot quicker um but i mean maybe that'll be my plan but again anything goes so i just want to finish the video by saying a huge thank you to the royal gwent hospital in south wales they were absolutely brilliant all the midwives and you know without them i probably wouldn't be sitting here today with my beautiful baby boy Jax. so huge thank you to all the midwives there they're doing a great job and especially with the current situation hats off to all the midwives and nurses that are working so hard and you know for all those mums out there you know you'll have the best support regardless of the situation so Please don't feel anxious. They'll get you through it. Um, and yeah, best of luck with your births. You're all going to smash it regardless of what happens. Um, and yeah, if there's any more questions, just put them in the comments and I will get back to you. Um, but again, it'll be based on my experience, my experience only. Everyone is different. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed Jax's little interruption of my birth q and I absolutely love having him on the videos with me. So I hope you guys enjoy. And if you want to see more videos, then please subscribe and follow me on Instagram for updates. Thanks guys.